Hey, my lovelies. Now, I think it's fair to say that guacamole is one of the world's most beloved dips. And it's not hard to see why. It's creamy, it's flavorful, it's super delicious. You can basically spread it on everything. Today, I've got three unique ways to get your guac on, and I think you're gonna love them. For my first guac today, I'm actually making a bit of a hybrid, so it's sort of half salsa, half guac, lots of great freshness. We're getting started, of course, with some avocados. You want nice, ripe avocados in your guac. That helps it get nice and squishy and goopy and delicious. I'm using two avocados in this guac, and I am just going to use a potato masher to do all the hard work. Next, I'm going to stir in some of the salsa freshness that I was talking about. So I've got some gorgeous tomatoes. I finely chopped them, removed the seeds so they're not too, too watery. I'm also adding some nice crunch with some white onion, finely diced. Of course, it would not be guac without a little cilantro, so we're just gonna get the cilantro happy in there. Then we are going to grate in our garlic. Now, of course, you can use minced garlic here, but I always find the best way to get really even flavor is to grate your garlic with a rasp, like so. I'm going to add the zest and juice of one lime and then some salt and pepper and give this all a stir. And there you have it, an incredibly fresh guacamole that you guys are going to love. I especially love this guacamole when used in some of my tasty taco recipes. If you haven't checked out my latest taco video, I highly recommend you do so. There is a lot of deliciousness happening there. Next, guys, I have a Greek-inspired guacamole. Now, I know this doesn't sound very traditional, but trust me, it is super delicious. And of course, as always, starts with some lovely avocado in my bowl. I'm just gonna give it a quick mash. Then I'm going to build in some flavor. So I've got some sun-dried tomato that I have finely chopped. I've also got some Kalamata olive, which you guys know is one of my favorite ingredients because it's got a ton of great saltiness. Also with some great saltiness is some feta cheese a little bit of fresh dill, some fresh parsley. I've also got some Greek seasoning here, some grated garlic, because of course it would not be Greek inspired anything without some garlic. Instead of lime juice, we are using some lemon juice. We can go a little easier on the salt in this recipe because of course we have that salty feta and those amazing salty olives, but we can go a little heavier on the pepper because pepper is amazing and we love it. Give this all a stir, guys, and what you have is glorious Greek-inspired guac goodness. Say that five times fast. Finally, on today's guacamole extravaganza, I've got a bacon guacamole that is seriously going to guac your world. It, of course, starts once again by mashing some avocado in a bowl. To that, I am adding some cooked and chopped bacon to add even more awesome flavor, a little saltiness, a little tanginess, I've got some crumbled goat cheese. Next, I'm adding some finely chopped green onion, some grated garlic, and of course, some lemon juice. I'm going to season this with some salt and some pepper, and holy guacamole, everyone, this is some serious stuff. Now, to be totally honest with you guys, I was actually a little nervous about this recipe at first, but it turned out to be our crew's favorite of the three, so I definitely recommend you give it a try. And if you do, of course, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because I love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, if you are looking for more guac inspiration, I've got another great guacamole video. I'll link it in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.